in the path of problem. Okay? So what what would be our problem there? Uh, they're trying to get you to do drugs. Trying to get you to do something that you you're, you know's wrong, right? So that's our problem. Okay. What's that next step take? Okay, so let's write on a, a bit of kind of a chart up here, and let's write. They they just might be like, oh well, they might like just kill you. Maybe get distracted. Might distract them. Good. Anything else? No. Okay, let's go to the next. It says, tell them you're not interested. What could happen if you just say I'm not interested? Um, they could. They could say, well, I don't care. Okay. They not want to be your friend anymore? They might get mad at you. They not want to be their friend, right? They want to be your friend, right? What else? They could tell people that you were just like a chicken because like, you were scared to do that. you got to know that it's a possibility that they might make fun of you, okay? Or they might talk about you if you say no, right? Okay. So you might want to be prepared for that, right? Walk away. Well, I think you just walk away. Thank you. Just walk away. You think that's the best solution for this? Just walk away. No. And then you help. All right. So, um, what would be some possible solutions? You're having, you're struggling with who your friends hang out with, and and you don't know. If they're really a true friend, then they'll understand if you tell them that they're bad or. So, so talk to them. Talk to them. That's the solution, right? Okay, anything else? Talk to the um, person you're the us that I want. Okay, they can talk to the other person. Good. Mm -hmm. Anything else we can do? You can talk to your friend, talk to the other person. That's a bad influence. Oh, how can you make it do that? Like that. My brother is going to mess with that. So how do you, how can we maybe show them that the other person is bad influence on us? So for how would we show them? Like, it's kind of hard to ask them. Yeah. Maybe have them talk to other people more so concerned with the other person. With the, I, guess so. I don't want to be careful with talking to the other people. I don't want to be what? Okay, we might disagree. What else? Why do we want to be careful? So that we don't want to start gossip, right, about other people, right? Because that just makes the problem worse, right? Do you agree? Okay, so maybe um, try to show them why they're bad. So this problem is it. This one's a little trick here. Do you have anything, Alana? All right. Let's have a seat and talk about which solutions we think are the best. All right, so, oh, oh that's okay. <laughs> Let's think about all right, step three. Read that one again. What could happen if I did this? Think about how each solution impacts on impacts you and others. Okay, so let's look at talk to them. Okay, your friends hanging around and as a result of this, you go talk to your friend. So you get mad at you, you get mad at you, right? And they could be like, well, if you don't find him, then I don't want you. They could not be friends with you anymore. Yes, because you're so fun. Good. What else? Um, can I trust you anymore? I trust you because um, your opinions don't like theirs. Maybe they won't trust you because your opinions are right. What else? You might think you're being controlling. Might think you're being controlling. There's lots of uh, negatives that could come from that, right? Mm -hmm. So, you might think you're jealous. Good. So if we talk to them, how should we approach it? How should we approach talking to them? We should ask them, say, hey, can I talk to you for a little bit? Okay. okay. You want to be caring. Good. You want to let them know that you're genuinely concerned. So when you talk to the other person, you want to show them that it's because you care about them. Exactly. You them. Exactly. You got, we got to, you got to be very careful there, right? Because you, um, how you handle it and the way you say things to them or um, maybe the tone. Remember last time we talked about tone and body language? That can have a huge impact on it, right? Okay? So that you're concerned and that you love, you love them, right? Okay? Um, how can we make sure we do that? Bring them cookies. Bring 
cookies, okay? <laughs> what else? Would you tell them how much you love them? Yeah, you can tell them, okay? Anything else? Show them. How can we, let's say you talk to them, you talk to the other person, uh, you do these things, and they still hang out with that person. What do you have to do then? Um, you got to keep trying, right? If you really care about them, you don't just want to say, okay, you're going to hang out with that person, I'm never talking to them again. Because are they going to think you really care about them then? Yeah. And that can be hard sometimes, because if that person's a bad influence, you want to hang out with them. Yeah. That's so, kind of like peer pressure. So how, what would be the best way to go about that then? Let's say you talk to them and they continue to hang out with that person. You gotta keep trying to keep trying to keep. No. So what what would you do in order not to get sucked into that peer pressure, but also to let your friend know that you still care? How could you handle that? Stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. Maybe you could try and be friends with that person and then once you get or maybe you start hanging out with that person without your other friend. Like just doing small things, like maybe going to the movies with them, and your friend starts to notice how she treats, and how he or she treats you, and they'll notice was what they what they treat me like that too, because that's not right. Maybe if they start seeing how they treat other people, we care, right? But you also don't want to get caught up in it. So can you think of any way, other way you can handle that? If they keep hanging, they continue hanging out with them. You can tell them or. Like, Maybe talk to their parents about it. Okay. That'd be a really good decision because if you talk to their parents, then their parents can approach it a little bit easier because the kid really knows that their parents love them, but they know that they're just doing that consideration more than you do. I've been in that situation before, and I just told them that I was trying to help, and if they didn't want my help, then that's all good. Good, because sometimes, like, you can only do so much, right? You, know, you have to leave it up and eventually they'll find out, right? Sometimes that people have to learn the hard way. Have you ever heard that? Mm -hmm. Your Honor. All right, let's look at our next one. Let's talk to the other person. So what if you go talk to the other person? What are some things that could happen if you talk to the other person? The other person will try to be involved. Okay. Good. The other person could tell your friend that they're trying to make them look at this one of these. Okay. So we'll go ahead with that. Mm -hmm. All right. Think you can do it? Yeah. Yep. So who wants to be the... Okay, let's do this one. This one seems easier to find this, I think. Okay. This one's got a lot of solutions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's use this scenario. So your friend's hanging out with someone you do not like. Okay. And we're going to use this method, talk to them about it, okay? So who wants to be the play? Abby's going to be the person that talks to them about being oh, like, the better person. No, you're not. You're not the better person. Every now and then we play or something. Mr. Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a play then. Okay. So you're the... I'm already confused. You're ready? You think you know what you're going to do? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You know how you're going to approach it? Okay. Are you need to be Maybe you generally remind her that, but um, make sure that she knows that um, you still care about her, right? Okay. I'm just saying, I'm actually a really nice person. I'm really nice. I know you are, Alana. Everybody in here is. Thanks, actually. Don't sell people pencils either. <laughs> I don't think so. That's okay. I just wanted to make sure you're. Uh, actually role playing the scenario there. We kind of got lost for a second. Okay. That's okay. You, I like how she said um, she might treat you good because sometimes those people that um, are negative influence might treat you well, but they make they cause you to do things you wouldn't normally do, right? What are some things that negative influences could cause you to do that you wouldn't normally do? Um, Is it always ideal to get a new paper and jot down the possible solutions? No. no. So who could you talk to about the possible solutions? Once again, what do you have to make sure of the people you're talking to? That they're honest. That they're honest. And they're, on board, they're not on board with the, the bad problem. Okay. 
there's secretive, right? No, What's the uh, word we've been using in our small group norms? Yeah. Make sure that they you, they observe that, right? That you can tell them and it's confidential and it won't leave that person, right? So, um, you don't want somebody that's going to tell everybody else, okay? So we talked about good people to tell that can help you through problems earlier, right? So if you have one of these problems with your friends, before you act and immediately go things, make sure you think about them. And if you need to talk about it with anybody, you know, we went over who you can talk to, right? Let's go over to you and who are some people you can talk to. Parents, guidance counselor, teachers, teachers, everybody. Older brothers and sisters, usually they're more accepted. They have had a lot of the same experience, right? Any family members that you trust, right? Maybe you're, you have a best friend that you definitely know you can trust, right? Anything else? No. <laughs> okay. You all did a good job with that. Then after you've talked to it, you want to kind of think about what could happen as a result of all the solutions and make sure you choose the very best one, right? Why do you want to go through these problem-solving steps? Why, are, why is it a good thing to go through these? So, like, you don't get mixed up in what they're mixed up in or so you don't get in trouble like they are. Or okay. like, you know, get hurt or Think of any problem, though. Okay. Any problem that you have. Why is it a good example? Why is it good to work through these steps when you have a problem? So you don't say something you regret, right? Sometimes we get mad and we want to immediately say something. Should we do that? Or so you don't overthink the problem. Okay, maybe you think about it too much and you don't ever act on it. Okay, then is it ever going to get solved? No. What else? Any other reasons you would want to work through all these steps? Make sure you say the right thing. To make sure you say the right thing. Maybe to make sure you don't, that problem doesn't build and grow, right? You don't want it to grow into something worse, correct? Okay. Um, let's think about, you all did an excellent job, too, by the way. So let's, this is our last meeting for this one. Um, let's think about things uh, that we can maybe take away as a whole from all these sessions. What are some things that, what's the, your, the most important thing you learned that you can take away from your favorite session, or maybe the um, the, fa the thing that you learned you think will help you the most. Um, I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna start with Nate over here and go around. Everybody try to tell me something, okay? You like today's the problem solving because I mean you have a lot of problems. Everybody does, right? <laughs> Not just you all, but middle school's rough sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of stuff in it. Especially. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Man. I like uh, like what you said. Do you like the face problem solving? Yeah. Good. Well, I like all of them. You like all of them, but my favorite was probably the one about um, trust and friendship, good friendships. Yeah. And like how to start a good conversation. So how to start conversations. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we struggle with it. Okay. What can you do to help you remember? If somebody you can come talk to, if you're, if you're having a problem with friendship, or if you're having a problem with your social skills again, or if you're having a problem, just a problem with somebody, who's somebody, like if something like this happens, that you can come talk to? You? You can talk to me, yes. <laughs> Anybody else? Nobody. Everybody at this table, you, you know you can trust them now, right? You can build that trust. Anybody else? Ms. McCaslin. Yeah, counselor, yes. Maybe it's Aubrey or Miss Sanders. Excellent. So um, make sure.